Jeffrey Dagner, mejor conocido como el caníbal de Wisconsin, fue responsable de 17 muertes de hombres y jóvenes entre 1978 y 1991. Más que nada, es conocido por practicar la necrofilia y el canibalismo. Casi siempre, todos los asesinos en serie tienen un pasado familiar de miedo. Con Jeffrey fue completamente lo opuesto y creo que es de los asesinos en serie que más ha causado miedo. Fue un niño bien cuidado, educado y amado por sus progenitores. Este individuo fue creando sus propios gustos y fantasías al experimentar con animales por el simple morbo de ver qué contenían por dentro de sus cuerpos. A partir de ahí, esto se convirtió en una especie de placer y fetichismo, a tal grado de que ya no podía controlar sus impulsos de querer asesinar, así que empezó a experimentar con humanos y su depravación sexual fue aumentando cada vez más, al nivel de que asesinaba a los hombres, tenía relaciones sexuales con sus cadáveres y finalmente terminaba descuartizando y comiéndose estos cadáveres. Las personas que lo conocían afirman que no tenían ni idea de que este hombre fuera capaz de hacer tales atrocidades, ya que era un buen vecino y a la vista de cualquiera una buena persona. A continuación les dejaré una parte de una entrevista para que vean cómo pensaba este asesino en serie. Tu padre viene aquí a visitar about once a month, but I get the impression that, that the two of you don't talk a lot about everything that happened, about the crimes in particular. No, we, we don't discuss that because uh, it's been, it's been uh, gone over so thoroughly in the papers and, and the media that uh, uh, there's just really no point in, in going in depth, into any in-depth talks about it. We, we talk about uh, our family, Uh, home, how things used to be, uh, what uh, prison life is here, is like here now, and uh, try to keep uh, things as, as light and upbeat as possible. Is it hard for you to go back and talk about those things? Uh, no, not, not the good things. In fact, it gives me a sense of comfort to talk about uh, the, the few good times there were in the past. You say the few good times. Do you think of your childhood as having been profoundly unhappy? No, not profoundly. My childhood wasn't wasn't uh, filled with any any great tragedies or anything. There were good times and there were bad times. I, th I think it was fairly normal. Jeff, do you remember your your earliest experience and earliest interest, fascination with the inside of animals? Where that came from? Uh, in ninth grade, uh, in biology class, we had uh, the usual dissection of uh, fetal pigs. I took the remains of that home and, and kept uh, the skeleton of it. And I just started branching out uh, dogs, cats. I suppose it could have turned into a, a, a normal hobby like taxidermy, but it, it didn't. It veered off into into this. Why, I, I don't know. All I know is that uh, I wanted to, to see what the insides of these animals looked like. Was there some pleasure in, in the cutting open of the animal? Yes, there was. No, no sexual pleasure, but just a, it's hard to describe. Sense of power, sense of control? I suppose that's a good way of putting it, yeah. yeah. I can sort of see a fascination for you know wanting to see uh, or, or for looking at the insides of animals say for the first time after you did it one time what more is to be gained by looking at another dog's inside the second yeah, or I the third know. I don't know that's it that's became a compulsion and it switched from animals to humans I, I, I still don't understand it I don't know why What would you do with the, with the dead animals, Jeff? You would pick the carcasses up from the road and take them back into the woods. Take them back in the woods, uh, 
skin them sometimes, uh, slit them, slit them all the way open, uh, look at the organs, feel them. There was a sort of ex uh, a general excitement for me. I don't know why. It was, a, it was exciting to see. One of your dad's biggest questions is when you began to slip away, when you crossed over into this world of obsession or dark fantasy from which you just couldn't return. Can you pinpoint that? Do you, is there a sense for when that really began to happen with you, Jeff? I think it was around <clears throat> age 14 or 15. Started have, having obsessive uh, thoughts of, of uh, violence uh, intermingled with sex. And it just got worse and worse. Uh, I didn't know how to tell anyone about it, so I didn't. I just kept it all inside. Do you have any sense for where that was coming from? No. No, I've, I've talked with uh, a few psychologists about it. They, they have their theories, but they don't have any concrete answers either. Do you have a theory? No, not really. I, I don't know where, where it came from. Uh, I probably will never know. But I, I never, I never dreamed that it would uh, become a reality. Si te gustó el video, compártelo y activa la campana para no perderte mi contenido. Hasta entonces, nos volveremos a ver en el siguiente video de Señal Desconocida.